Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. I was asked to bring an extra gift for my son's friend's brother. Now the parents are calling us out for cheaping out. I've got three kids, an eight-year-old son, a five-year-old son, and a one-year-old daughter. My younger son is friends with a kid from his class. Let's call him Mikey. Mikey's got an older brother, James, who's in the same class as my older son. Thing is, my son and James aren't friends. They just don't hang out like that. Anyway, back in March, James got sick with the flu and his birthday party got canceled. Mikey's mom put this message in the class mom group chat, but we didn't really pay attention to it because, well, my older son wasn't even invited to that party in the first place. Like I didn't even know the kid's birthday was coming up, let alone that he had a party planned. No biggie, right? Fast forward to now. My younger son just got an invite to Mikey's birthday party which is set for early June. Cool, my son's excited, we're all good. But here's where it gets weird. On the invitation, there's this little note saying, oh, by the way, please bring an extra gift for James because he missed out on his party. Wait, what? My wife and I were both like, huh? Why are we being asked to buy a gift for James? I mean, my son's not even friends with him and we weren't invited to that canceled party. Plus, it's Mikey's birthday, so it feels kind of weird to be showing up with a gift for his brother too. We decided to ask Mikey's parents what's up with this and they hit us with the explanation well. Since James couldn't have his friends over for his birthday, we thought this would be a good opportunity for them to still give him gifts. I mean, seriously? We were just kind of stunned. Like, is that even fair to Mikey? It's his day, but now he has to share the spotlight with his brother who's basically crashing his party for some belated birthday presents. After chatting with my wife, we agreed that we weren't going to get James a gift. Our reasoning was pretty simple. One, our son's not friends with James. Two, he wasn't invited to the original party. And three, it just doesn't make sense to give a gift to a kid during his brother's birthday party. Feels off, you know. So we told Mikey's parents our decision, and let's just say they weren't happy about it. They basically said we were being petty and vindictive, like we were trying to punish James just because our son doesn't like him or something. Which, for the record, isn't true at all. It's not like my son dislikes James, they just aren't buddies. Then, things got even more heated. Mikey's mom came back with a threat to uninvite my younger son from the party if we didn't reconsider. His dad wasn't as harsh about it, but he still thought we were making the wrong call. Now, my wife and I are stuck. We don't want to deprive our son of a fun party with his friend, but we also feel like this whole thing is super unfair, especially to Mikey. Why should we have to buy two gifts when we were only invited to one party? Relevant comments, commenter. So for starters, you are most definitely NTA here, and the parents are incredibly strange and entitled for this. However, it makes me feel badly for both of their children. It is not you and your wife's job to provide gifts for the older child, but I would look at it like this. How important is Mikey to your child? Could you spare even a small gift for the older child? even if it is from the dollar store so your son could spend time with a friend who is important to him. It makes me feel like the children are not treated right by their parents, and it makes me feel sad to see this kind of behavior from them. You are not wrong. Oop, while I wouldn't say money is a problem here, we're not made of it. My daughter turned one weeks ago and we'll have family coming over from our home country in July, so we're trying not to spend too much. Even if I looked for an inexpensive birthday gift, I have no idea what James likes, and neither does my son. I also would not give it to him during Mikey's birthday party. I know it was their parents' decision, but if I wouldn't do it to my own kids, I won't do it to theirs. Commenter op. Are they also inviting your older son to the party? Is he getting food and cake as well? Then maybe a gift is fair to offset the costs of him as a guest. Oop, my older son is not invited to the party, only my younger son. Commenter NTA. Super weird. You literally couldn't pay me a million dollars to be in a classroom mom group chat. Oop, my wife is there because they give out information about the school sometimes, but she hates it. Commenter, so I think you're NTA for not wanting to get a gift for the older kid. It's not his B-day. Your son isn't friends with him, and your son wasn't even invited to his original party. I think it was tacky of the parents to request gifts on the invitation. However, I think you made a problem where there really wasn't one. They can't force you to gift something to their other children. They included a tacky reminder on their invite, but that doesn't mean you have to do anything about it. I wouldn't have contacted them and made this into an issue. I would have just ignored it and shown with a gift for Mickey and called it a day. If they had the audacity to question you at the party, 
I would have just feigned ignorance and said you didn't notice anything about another gift. I think this whole thing could have been avoided, but you made it into a big deal. At this point, I probably just wouldn't go if these people are going to hold your younger son's invitation hostage and demand gifts for their other kid. That's ridiculous, and I wouldn't want to spend my time around them the main piece of advice I got when I first posted here, or at least the one that stuck with me the most was to buy a smaller, inexpensive gift for James. I was more than fine with doing that, but I had no idea what he liked. I also didn't want to give him that gift during his brother's birthday party, as that didn't feel fair to Mikey. My wife and I talked, and we settled on getting James a gift card to a bookstore. We also had our older son give it to him at school, days before the party. He said James was grateful. Later that day, the boy's mom texted the mom group chat, saying she didn't want people cheaping out on James just because it wasn't his birthday. My wife agrees that it felt targeted, but we can't prove anything. Either way, we've given him a gift. We don't need to indulge in this any more than we already have. We'll just complain to each other. Our younger son wasn't uninvited from the birthday party. I was working, so my wife took him. According to her, the party was clearly Mikey's. The only thing indicating otherwise was the fact that James opened his gifts during it. My wife said she avoided their parents, but did get a few dirty looks from them, especially when Mikey opened the gift my son had picked out. It was a Spider-Man toy car that he thought Mikey would like. We'd bought it before this whole fiasco. Since we actually know Mikey, it was more personal than the gift card. I still don't understand a single decision the boy's parents made, but I'm glad my son's friendship is intact. I just hope my wife and I don't need to interact with that family too much in the future. Relevant comments Commenter I can't believe you actually gave a gift and went to the party. This is ridiculous and disgusting that they would even write on the invite to bring the sibling a gift. I would have not went and kept my family away from that shit storm. Oop, we didn't want to upset our son. He wanted to go to the party, so we let him. Whatever problems we had with James and Mikey's parents are none of his concern. Commenter, I know people recommended that at the behest of the children, but it feels like you've just taught their parents that the behavior was okay. Why wouldn't the kids who were going to go to the other boy's party not go to this new one? Why didn't they just throw a combined birthday for both of them, where each friend brought a gift for the person they were going to originally? Also, the entire message of don't cheapen out would have had me cancel going altogether. Now, neither of their children get a gift, and they get to miss out on my kid at their party. I'll take my kid out somewhere fun with the money we would have wasted on their brats. Oop, as much as I don't regret getting James a gift, I'm very upset at his parents. The kids didn't deserve any of this. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.